Okay, so this tutorial is totally a lie. I know I said I was going to show you how to use an iPad as a program monitor for your Canon 5D Mark II or 7D, but it's totally a lie. What I do want to show you is the EOS utility that ships with all of the 5Ds and 7Ds. So here's, here's how it works. I run a USB cable between my laptop and the mini USB on the side of the camera, and I turn the camera on. Once that software is installed, if I turn the camera on, it automatically launches. I come down here to camera settings, remote shooting, I click on that, and this window pops up. Now this is really nice. It allows me to see how my battery's doing, how many shots I have. It shows me the shutter and the f-stop and the ISO. It also tells me that if I were to shoot a still, I'd be shooting in RAW. And actually, if I just click on this, here's a trigger to shoot. Um, but I have other controls here. I have con uh, uh, access to my user... Um, uh, what are these things called? The uh, um, user settings. I can also do um, a, a deeper white balance. I call this the Shane Hurlbit white balance. And it gives me some other controls. Now if I push the button on the back of the camera, the, um, the roll video button, what I get is another button here and then I hit live, uh, live view shoot and there we go. So here is uh, a feed off the USB from the camera. The beauty of this, now actually let me focus this, if I come over here and this box here will allow me to focus. So I click on that. Now the beauty of this um, utility is it works off the USB port, which means I'm not killing the LCD on the back of the camera. I also still have access to the HDMI output if I want to use like a larger Marshall. So this could be used as almost like a client monitor or maybe, um, you know, the um, a tech to monitor, you know, what's going on. And there's a lot of things you can do with it. Besides the things I showed you on the far right side, I can also adjust my white balance. I can pick one of the presets or go into a custom temperature where I dial in or a color temperature where I dial in the number, or I can go to custom where I actually can use this white, this little uh, eyedropper tool. Let's say I want to white balance on the keyboard there, and now I'm set. So it, it's pretty cool what you could do um, just there. And then as I showed you earlier, I can focus. So if I bring my focus tool down here and I say I want to point, I want to focus on these monitors back behind me, click OK. And it's not super fast, but it, it does allow me to uh, focus on various things inside the frame. Now imagine if this did work on an iPad and imagine if this was just a touch screen kinda like the back of the phone where I could just touch on something and it would like adjust and diddle it and fix it and make it right. So this piece of software if it ran on an iPad would be awesome. So this is my um, plea to the software development community. Make this app. Use the camera connector. It would seem, I mean, I, can, I understand there's probably SDK issues, but come on, Apple. Come on, software developers. This is a great app. I just bought a 7-inch uh, a Marshall to put on top of the 7D and the 5D Mark II. It cost me $1,000. An iPad, 500 bucks. You do the math. Figure out how much you could charge. I personally would easily pay 50 or maybe even 100 bucks for that app. That's a high-end app. And these cameras are selling like crazy. It should work with the 5D, the 7D, it should work with the T2i, the 1D Mark IV. Great little app. I can just see people mounting their iPads on top of their uh, cameras all over the place. So please, please, please make us this app.